Hello, y'all. How you doing this morning? I just got up. I was perking around. and Well, I've been out and about a little bit. I figured I better go before the rain comes. Because I wanted me a cabbage. You know, I have to eat cabbage, y'all. Oh, boy, I'm on a cabbage trip, I guess. And uh, I went to the grocery store. Took my trash out. No, I did not wear this turban with this shirt, but I did wear this shirt. Got me some oranges. I took my trash to the dumpster, and that dumpster's a mess. I mean, people are just throwing things out. One bag of oranges. I got two bags of oranges. Got me a cabbage. I didn't get much. I just got, you know, just a few things. Not a whole lot. Got me some snacks. Two bags of oranges. As a matter of fact, these oranges uh, were a dollar ninety nine. A dollar ninety nine, y'all. And they're usually, let's see, now where's my sales paper? Uh, see, with the coupon, you had to have the coupon. And I did not take my, wait a minute, I did not take my sales paper. See, there's the coupon. And so. I had to make sure I got one from the store. So the store, you know, they have their sales paper there too. And so I took, thank goodness they had some. And so I got those two. I got two uh, $1.99 and $1.99, which was $4, about $4 for the two bags. Yeah, that's a lot of oranges for $2. And uh, California Navel, if that means anything. What else did I get out of here? Oh, brother, I'll tell you. I bought junk food, y'all. I'm guilty, you're on. I bought junk food. I'm just gonna eat a little bit. And I bought more junk food. I'm only gonna have a little bit. I know I gotta stop. I gotta cut it out. But the main thing I went to the store for was my eye drops. I can't get a prescription um, for it. So nobody, you know, the, uh, they don't pay, my um, insurance don't pay for that. You know, because they're for a dry eye. Got me some coarse black pepper, which was long overdue. Even though I got regular black pepper, I just like the coarse ground for some reason sometimes. And I bought me some more cookies. And I bought me, what else? That expensive bacon. But it's worth it. This is hickory smoke. And it is delicious. It's the right brand. You know, it's the best, uh, next best thing to remember slab bacon. I can't find any slab bacon anymore around here. And I don't know if, um, What's the name of that store? Ferraro's has it or not. And let's get back to these eye drops. I had some eye drops. And I noticed that, you know, when I use it, I hadn't used them for a long time. As a matter of fact, I had them for a while. This is a brand new bottle of the same eye drops that I had. And I think at the time I bought these, which was probably over two years ago, you know. And then I was, I was wondering why my eyes were filling like they were filling. You know, because every now and then, I, I don't use them on a daily, but I'll use them when my eyes are feeling really bad, you know, because I had the cataract surgery. And I, I, I um, have dry eye, what they call dry eye. And, you know, I have to use the drops. As you can see, my eyes are like, because I used some of the old drops last night. This came in a pack of two. This one has not even been opened. And then I look at the date on it. And I don't know if you could see that. It says 20, wait a minute. 2020, 2020, 05. I think that means the fifth month, right? I, I don't know. I just went and bought me some new drops today. 
And on those drops, it says, um, wait a minute, I looked at it when I was in the store. It says 2021-11. So that must be the month. And so these apparently have expired. And see, now these came in the, a pack of two. And the other ones, you know, that I had in the bathroom, matter of fact, I just tossed them out today. And I'm about to toss this one. I was going to call my uh, pharmacy and ask him what, it, what does that mean. And I said, it's got to be, you know, because I haven't been to the eye doctor in over, two, um, how many years now? Um, at least two years. So I said, that's what it's got to be. But the pack of two only cost me $17 and something, if I can remember correctly, $17 and something. And here I got a pack of one for 15 freaking dollars and something. I don't know, I gotta look at my my receipt. I'm thinking about just see if I can take them back and order me some. I don't know what, how much they are at Amazon. Matter of fact, I think the last ones I got had the two pack and they were like, I got those from uh, Amazon for like seventeen dollars and something. Let's see. Yep, there's my orange. It's two dollars. Yes, I'm glad about that because I didn't even look at the sales paper. I was just so tired of getting sales papers and having to throw them out. But then I saw the sign in the store. It says a dollar ninety nine. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute now, y'all. I'm trying to... Ooh. Trying to read my... 16... Wait a minute. Those drops. One tiny bottle was six. $16.29. I know I can beat that plot price. And you only get like one bottle. And I got those at the grocery store when I went there. And I might just be taking those back. Not today, but I'm going to look and see how much I, I can get from Amazon. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. I was like, they've got to be kidding me. For that one bottle. One. I should have called my, you know what? This TV, I, leave, I always leave my TV on. It's Megan uh, on uh, The View. Nobody likes her. I don't know what this thing is about all these eyelashes that everybody's wearing. It seems like to me got eyelash overkill. I was at, um... A store over in a, a Walmart the other day, and this girl had some eyelashes on about this darn long. I was like, said to myself, you know, of course I'm not going to say anything. Uh, it's an eyelash overkill. It looked like a costume party. But, you know, it looked okay, but, um... I don't know. Each to his own. Enjoy your day, you know. Just enjoy yourself. Enjoy your life. If that's what turns you on, this is what you like, that's what you do. Don't pay attention to people like me, the critics on the side, cause, which I'm not really criticizing. I'm just saying that it's a little overkill. And let's see what else I do at the store. Now you stop talking about people's eyelashes and stuff. Ta-da! Connecticut Lottery, y'all. And I bought that Powerball. I didn't even know how to play Powerball. This is the first Powerball I ever bought in my life for all those millions or however much as a billion dollars. I bought one. The lady talked about something else. If I want an extra ball or something, it would be $6. Oh, uh, what? I, you know, because I thought they were like a dollar. Because I wanted two quick picks, right? I thought they were a dollar. <laughs> I was wrong. They are $2. She said something about the $2. 
And then she says, if you want the extra bowl or something like that, it's uh, the extra bowl would be $6. I said to myself, what kind of lottery are you playing, lady? I used to play one buck, less it, go home, put my tail between my legs when it don't leave. You don't want to lose. But I don't know. I don't know when this uh, uh, power play Saturday. Oh, I get a drawing uh, Saturday at uh, January 16th. So that's, that's I got to wait for that one. But these are for today. I bought three. What well, mine? My birthday, my granddaughter's birthday. Well, granddaughter and my daughter that passed birthday. They born both born April the 6th. And another granddaughter born April the 1st. I played her. Let's see, did I play her number? 406. 401. Yeah, I played hers in 402, which is mine. So, who knows, y'all? I might be a rich woman soon. <laughs> I'll never win that. Yes, I did. I have won. I have won something. On a scratch ticket one time, I won $100. And, uh, you know, I used to win the $50 on the bingo a lot. When they first came out, the bingo used to be... $50, $50, every time you turn around $50, now you get nothing. After you play them for so you know, this is to get you to play. And then, after a while, you don't win anything. You'd be lucky to win a dollar, two dollars, or anything like that. But when they first came out, I mean, I was hitting that bingo. And I, uh, I hit a number one time when I dreamed it. I dreamed a number... And I hit it. Now, that number kept coming. It kept coming. But I only hit it because I don't... I guess I just don't put my uh, trust in numbers that much. And so I don't put a whole lot of money on it. I put like $1. <laughs> one dollar. One dollar. But anyway, my collect, you know, uh, uh, my payout was like $27 or something like that. And it just kept coming. I mean, that number came forward, backwards, straight box. It was all over the place. And this was many, many years ago, but I never forgot it. But I forgot what the number was. I think it was something like 189 or something like that. Anyway, y'all, I'm going to put my food away, which ain't much. And I got to have breakfast because I went out. Oh, my goodness, it's 11 o'clock. I went out before I even ate breakfast because I got up kind of late. For me, it's kind of late. You know, it's about something to nine, I think. Because I was watching something on television about some rocket taking off. I'm like, what the heck is this? Come back. I thought I was dreaming at first, but I saw it the launch. I said, is this the United States? I heard about the rockets supposed to be going nowhere. But anyway, it was somewhere in Texas, in Texas desert. I said to myself, Texas has a dog let it be. I said, Texas has a desert? Who knew? That's what they say. They say something about a desert in Texas. And I'm about to look that up. I'm about to Google that as soon as I get off the phone. I mean, off the uh, video, which is about now, y'all. And uh, because I, I, I'm like, I always thought the deserts were over there, like in Nevada and California, you know, like the Sahara Desert and the... What's that other desert name? I, I don't know. I can't think of them right now. But it just never occurred to me that there's a desert in Texas. Hmm. How so? Yeah. We got a desert right over here. I mean, down there. I didn't know that. I really didn't. I'm not saying that I got to know everything. It's just that it sounded mighty peculiar to me that there's a desert over there. I mean, down, down there. <laughs> Texas. I think it's down there. I have a niece that lives in Texas. She was in the, she was in the service. I think she's retired now. I'm not sure. But she, uh, she lives in Texas. She was living in, uh, Ohio. But then uh, after she went into service, I guess she liked Texas, so she decided to 
you know, reside there. Wow. Like they say, it's a true fact. This is a fact. You learn something new every day. On that note, have a nice day, y'all. I go with love. Bye-bye.